to a video of Daddy's Outlet. Okay, y'all get a good look at that. I don't know what you call it, an A-shirt, an undershirt, a wife beater, but I'm going to talk about it. Just give me like 60 seconds. Go sit down. Uh, I was talking to my friend at work today, and uh, his name is Cecil Ross. C-E-C-I-L-W. C-E-C-I-L-R-A-W. Uh, go check him out on Facebook. He's a, he's a very intelligent man. He, he, he has a very positive movement going on. C-E-C-I-L-R-A-W. He on Facebook. Quit. He on Facebook. But, uh, uh, let me tell you what my daughter, you know, I, I like a good story. You know what I'm saying? We didn't did enough serious videos. That's, that's, we're going we're gonna to mess around with it. Uh, I like a good story. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You know, Black History Month. And, you know, I'm getting my, get my old Frederick Douglass on. Oh, so, God. one day, my, my, my uh, 11 year old, she holding the camera. You'll see her one day. Uh, so, I say, uh, <laughs> she say, Daddy, when you going to get a haircut? I said, oh, I'm, you know, I'm getting my, my, my Frederick Douglass on. She said, Frederick Douglass? <laughs> you ain't no abolitionist. More like Thurgood Marshall. Yeah, but you know, they crazy. But uh, these grown men wearing white beaters or uh, A-shirts or under in public, uh, I think there's a certain age that you get to that uh need to put a shirt over that. <laughs> Okay, should no grown man be wearing uh, or just walking around in a white beater? I mean, honestly, my now this is just my opinion. My opinion is, I'm saying that kind of activity is for youngsters and and, and folks who just got out of the penitentiary. I mean, I'm just gonna keep it real. You know, there's no grown man be walking around with white beaters. Like, in fact, see, like me, you will never see me half naked. I would never walk around my house. Half naked with no undershirt on like that. Uh, in fact, the only people that, that, that you probably see my chest is, is two people. My old lady and a man in the mirror. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? I stay covered. I stay with long sleeves on. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm cool like that. I just I just stay with long sleeves on. I don't, psh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, but let me give you Daddy 101. Daddy 101. I have kids. Um, I don't walk around with uh, half naked or I act in a certain manner because I have two young girls. Now, I have an older son. He's 15. But I have two little girls. And whatever I portray or whatever standards I set for a man, uh, they will accept. So if I walk around half naked, they're going to accept seeing a man half naked. You know what I'm saying? If I walk around the house cussing, with a fart in my hand, that's going to be acceptable to them. So my kids have uh, changed me a whole lot and, and, and you know, made me mature as well, uh, as well as being out in the world has made me mature. So I'm just saying, uh, put a shirt on. Oh, I'm saying, well, you know, you're too old. Just, just put a shirt on. That, 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 that's all I'm asking. Hey, if you ain't got a shirt, I'll buy you one. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Karen and Sharon. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one. I love to give back. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to sleep for real this time. Uh, keep up the good work. And I'll catch y'all at another time.